Hey, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. In this video, I will be walking you through how Pagefly, the builder, the drag and drop builder, works with Shopify and Shopify themes. So, well, so in our page, in our Shopify, you can go to online store and you will have Shopify themes. Um, and if you are new to Shopify and you haven't set any of this up, you can either use Pagefly to build out almost everything, or you can mix and match and use some of uh, the theme that you want and then some page fly. Um, it's totally up to you. You can mix and match. Um, that's kind of what I like the most about it is the flexibility. Um, and if you already have an existing store, but you just need maybe like a sales page or a couple extra pages, um, you can use page fly for those without affecting the rest of your store, which is really nice. So right now I'm just going to be using the Dawn theme. So if we click customize right now, you'll see the traditional uh, page builder for Shopify. It's great. We love it. Cool. Um, but sometimes if you want extra um, customization or more options, or sometimes people just find this difficult to figure out, totally fine. Um, what we can do is go to page fly, which is over here. And now I have a home page already set and this is saved and we're going to just do save and publish. And because this is the home page, this is going to, um, override the Shopify homepage. Um, but if you want to go back, that's what this message is saying. You can just unpublish this page and go back to the traditional theme. So you can really swap back and forth, make it work for you and your site. So I'm okay. Great. An error occurred. Awesome. Don't know why. Oh, let's update this to home and then publish. And then hopefully that works. Cool. 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 Let's see. Okay, I don't know what happened, but it's working and it's published. So we are good. And now when we view the page, you can see how we still have like some of the Shopify, but then it's down here. So um, once we're done, we can go back to Shopify, go to online store and then customize. And the main thing you want to remove is all of this and you'll see this page fly home page that will give you all the content from what's on your page fly builder. So now you can see, let's save. Now you can see like that old home page has now been replaced with this new template. Looks so nice. And then you can just update the header and footer, which I'll show you in a different video. Um, but you can do this with every single page. If you want your about page to be different and use page fly, you use that. If you want to keep your home page as traditional Shopify, go for it. Um, normally the main things that I would leave would be your checkout and your, uh, cart page, uh, just so it's more seamless. And really the only things I would maybe update on there would be like the, the colors and the fonts maybe. Um, but again, if you have like, let's say you, maybe you've built out your entire page and you just need to add a sales page. You can totally do that by, by adding page fly and including one page and it won't interrupt what you have on your existing Shopify. If you're like, no, I like how page fly works. It's easy to use. I like the flexibility. I love the design. Great. Um, you can use page fly and it will integrate nicely with Shopify and it like, I love it. So that is how 
Shopify and uh, Pagefly integrate. The main things you are going to have to change on the Shopify theme side will be the um, footer and header, the navigation. Um, but yeah, so right now I have the Dawn theme. It's a free theme, so you can use like Pagefly, which you have to like pay for, um, or with a free theme, you don't have to use like a paid theme. Um, or if you already have a paid theme, you can add a shop, uh, page fly there. And it's a like great investment to make, um, some really cool designs after that. Um, other things that will, you'll need to do on the Shopify side will be the navigation. So you can update your uh, menu and footer. I'm going to walk you through this on a separate page. And then blogging on your blog post will still be done on the Shopify side. So you'll write your blog post. And then products and collections. You can create a product page design that will integrate the products um, on it with Pagefly. Um, but you'll still need to add your products into the back end of Shopify. So all of that will still be done via Shopify, um, not through Pagefly. Pagefly will just be for the design. Uh, same with collections and um, really like anything on this back end, like analytics and discounts will all have to be done through Shopify. And then Pagefly, think about it as these are the designs that are that we're adding to the store. Um, and yeah, so that's, page fly and now you can use the editor um, you can publish and use the pages and yeah hope that helps